Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the slope. And uh, specifically, we want to calculate the slope between two points. And these two points uh, for this particular problem is negative 5, 6 and 0, negative 2. So if you know how to calculate the slope, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. But a lot of students think they understand slope better than they actually do uh, because, they, because they oftentimes make uh, a common miscalculation, which causes obviously to, uh, for them to get the wrong answer. And you can't do this if you expect to be successful in algebra. So if you really want to uh, pass algebra with a great grade or with uh, any kind of passing grade, you must absolutely be able to calculate the slope uh, every time. Now, I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second, and then I'm going to walk through this problem step by step and kind of highlight this common error that a lot of students make. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Again, we want to calculate the slope between these two uh, points, or uh, oftentimes are also referred to as ordered pairs or coordinates. But let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The answer is the following. Okay, the slope, which is um, oftentimes uh, uh, the symbol for slope is a small m. So that's what I'm using here, but that stands for slope. So m is equal to negative 8 this. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if you got an answer like 5 over 8, or if you got 8 over 5, in other words, if you were pretty close, well, that's good. But uh, obviously, you made this error, and uh, you know, good is not going to be good enough on an exam, right? So I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but I'm actually happy that you made this error because I want to uh, highlight probably where you went wrong, okay? So this is going to be an easy fix, and if you can remember this, it's going to uh, keep you out of hot water when it comes to slope. Now, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. You can tell your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in calculating the slope. Now, they really don't uh, really won't know what that means, but it just sounds so cool. Anyways, now, here's another thing. Uh, if you happen to get the right answer, it, there's a possibility that you may have gotten lucky. So you want to stick around for the rest of this video. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. So we're trying to calculate the slope between these two points, right? Now, these two points, okay, are uh, an XY point. All right, now, XY point. Uh, on the Cartesian plane or XY um, axis, right, or XY plane, uh, this is just referred to as an ordered pair or a coordinate, okay? Now, it's a pair, and they're, uh, you know, basically this is a, an address, right? If you were, like, going to a friend's house and they would say, oh, here's my address, uh, well, you know, that's describing the location of something, right, or the location of a home. Now, if you want to find the location of a point on the XY plane, this is the address system. It's an ordered pair. We put our X coordinate first and our Y coordinate second. So uh, hopefully you understand how to plot points. Now, if this is a little bit confusing for you, I want to suggest that you check out like my, uh, my pre-algebra course. I'll leave the link to that in the description below. But you got to understand uh, to, uh, you know, pass algebra, how to plot points, calculate slope, etc. Okay, so this is what we have here are two points on the xy plane. So let's go ahead and plot these points here. So here we have negative 5, 6. So again, this is something that you should uh, be able to know how to do. So it's negative 5 on the x-axis. So it would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is negative on the x-axis. And then positive 6 on a y. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now this is just an estimation, but that's uh, generally where uh, negative 5, 6 would be uh, located at. Okay. All right, now the other uh, coordinate that we're dealing with is 0, negative 2. So 0 on the x-axis and negative 2 on the y. So that point would be right there. Now, what we're trying to do is calculate the slope that um, uh, basically if a line passes through these two points, we want to determine the slope of that line. Now, the slope is basically, it's just a number 
that describes the angle or steepness of a line. Okay, so if you're trying to say, hey, this line's pretty steep, uh, you know, or you know, as compared to let's say a line like this, well, how do we, you know, kind of um, uh, define or describe the steepness of a line? Well, in algebra, we use this uh, concept called the slope. Now, let me just tell you some real basic things here. Uh, lines that increase from left to right, okay, in an upward manner, like so, from left to right, they increase. These lines have a positive slope. If you see me write a little M right there, that's uh, indicating slope. So in other words, the slope, when you're done with it, will be a positive number. Now, uh, lines that fall from left to right, like so, they're kind of going downhill. These lines are going to uh, be negative, okay? So if you're kind of thinking about uh, the slope and, you know, you know, you're basically looking at this problem and you're saying, well, you know, I'm not quite sure if the answer is going to be positive or negative. You can just quickly, you know, sketch out the two points and it just could be a rough estimation and be like, yeah, this should be negative. So your final answer should be negative. Now, lines that are um, horizontal, like so, these lines have a zero slope. And then last but not least, we have vertical lines, okay? And what kind of slope do you think they have? Well, they actually do not have any slope. We actually call this an undefined slope. And uh, that's kind of further uh, for further uh, discussion on slope, uh, more instruction, but you do need to understand this, okay? But for right now, you should have a, a basic sense of you know, uh, the um, slope. If you got a line going like this direction, it's gonna be negative, like this direction, positive, undefined and zero. Okay, now let's go ahead and actually define a slope. Now a slope is um, defined as the rise over the run of a line. Okay, now the rise is how much the line is increasing. Okay, and that's gonna be what we call the change in Y. Okay, now this is a little delta symbol. It's kind of fancy math and uh, science symbol. If you've never seen this, don't, don't worry about it. But basically it's the change or the differences of the Y's and then the run is the differences of the x. So let me just show you this real quick because this is a really important concept. We'll kind of erase all of this, even our little problem here. Now, if you're saying to yourself, um, yes, I understand this. Well, let's just kind of take a moment for those that may not. All right, so here, let's suppose we have a line like so, okay? Now we're trying to determine the slope of this line. Well, basically the way the slope is described, okay, again, as is uh, as a fraction, okay? So the slope is going to be a uh, fraction and it's gonna be the rise over the run. So this line right here is rising. Let's suppose this is a three, okay? On the Y axis right here, okay? So this is running out. We're going increasing three for every uh, let's say for every uh, five, it goes out, okay? So the slope is the rise, okay? Here it's uh, going up positive three. For every five, it runs out, okay? So this is uh, the slope. Now, um, again, more discussion on the slope, and you can see uh, this is um, a positive as it should be, but uh, basically that's what the slope is, okay? It's a fraction that uh, indicates uh, the steepness of the line. So in this case, it'd be three fifths. The line is increasing three for every five it runs out to the right. Okay, so just a quick review uh, so on some of the basics about slope. There's actually more to, you know, more details, if you will, that you wanna kind of get into. But uh, for those of you that didn't know this, now you know this. So now let's go ahead and get into the actual uh, kind of formula to calculate slopes or the slope of a line, excuse me. So here we're dealing with x, y um, uh, ordered pairs, right? Coordinates. So in other words, back to our original problem, we're trying to calculate the slope between this point and this point. And both of these points here are x, y ordered pairs. Okay, this is the x here, this is the y, this is the x, and this is the y. So the formula uh, for slope uh, basically looks like this. Now it could be confusing, uh, but don't let this confuse you too much. Basically says, hey, if you want to um, calculate the slope between two points, uh, so this would, let's call this our first point. So that would be x sub one and y sub one. This little uh, subscript, that one, that just is saying that, hey, this x is gonna be different than our second point, x sub two. These are just two separate points. It's still an x and y and x and y. This is our first point and this is our second point. That's all that notation means. 
But if we look at the formula here, it's going to kind of highlight this right now. The, uh, to calculate the slope, what we want to do is subtract or find the differences of the y's. So here, we're going to take y2, whatever this coordinate is, and subtract away y1. And then we'll take x2, okay, this uh, coordinate right there, and subtract away this x1 right here. Okay. Now, most uh, students, uh, you know, look at this, but yeah, yeah, I know this, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Uh, you know, you're making this a, a much uh, bigger deal than it actually is. So students are, you know, again, a lot of students are like, yes, I know this. However, guess what happens? On tests and exams, many of them uh, calculate the slope incorrectly. Okay, and I'll kind of highlight why here in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into our problem. Let's calculate the slope between our two points here. So you can see the x, the x uh, coordinates are in green, okay, and the y coordinates here are in blue. So what we're going to do is subtract the y's. So we're going to find the differences of the y's, right? We're just basically following this formula here. So we're going to subtract the y's. That's how most people uh, think about it. So the y's are going to be what? Whoops, not this one. Uh, six and negative two. Now it doesn't make a difference if I go negative two minus six. Well, I'm gonna talk about this here in a second. So okay, I'm gonna subtract the y's. I'll find the differences of the y's. So that's six minus a minus two. All right, no problem, okay? Now I'm gonna find the differences of the x's, right? So that's what we have here in green. So that's going to be negative five minus zero. Okay, right here. And now we're going to just uh, do this arithmetic. So six minus minus two is the same thing as six plus two, which is eight. And negative 5 minus 0 is negative 5. And then, of course, we can just clean that up as the slope being equal to negative 8 fifths. All right. Now, this is the way this problem was done correctly. Okay. This is uh, the correct answer and everything is set up uh, right. But let's see how we can make this wrong. Okay. And I'm going to erase all this right here. And then I'll show you a way uh, to avoid... Uh, getting uh, wrong answers. Now, there's a couple, there's basically two mistakes that students make when they're faced with this. They'll forget the slope equation, and what they'll do, instead of uh, doing the differences of the y's, a change of y's up here, they'll do the x's, right? So they might go negative 5 minus 0, okay? And then they'll go 6 uh, minus, let's say, a negative 2. So that's a common mistake. They just kind of uh, flip things, um, you know, <laughs> they'll put the, the X's where the Y's go and the Y's where the X's go. Okay, so that's, uh, a, you know, pretty common mistake, but not as common as what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go back to our problem. So let's say um, you're like, nope, I'm going to put the Y's in the numerator. And this time we're going to go like this, uh, negative 2. Okay, we'll subtract the Y's this way, negative 2. And 6. I'm going to go negative 2 minus 6. I'm like, yep, uh, these are the y's. I'm subtracting them. And then I'm going to go um, negative 5 and 0. Okay, negative 5 minus 0. And let's say what we come up with here. So negative 2 uh, minus 6 is a negative 2 plus a negative 6, which is what? Negative 8 over negative 5 minus 0, which is what? Negative 5. And now this is negative uh, over negative. That's positive, right? So a student would calculate this out as a positive 8 fifths. Now, when they get this wrong, they're going to be, you know, they're going to have an expression like this. What are you talking about, Mr. Math teacher? I'm right. I did everything absolutely right. And unfortunately, they're going to have some tears when the math teacher explains, well, here is what you did wrong. Okay. And again, this is probably the most common mistake uh, here. So if you made this mistake, that's outstanding because... Um, Actually, let me uh, back up here because I don't want you to make this error. Okay, so what is the error here? Okay, well, the error is the following. All right, so here you started off with this y value and then you subtracted this y value. Okay, so effectively what you did is you started off the point, your calculation using this point's information. Okay, in other words, we started with this negative 2. That was the first um, coordinate we plugged in. So we started with this point's information. Then down here in, in uh, the denominator, you did what? You started with this point's information, negative five minus zero, okay? You cannot do that. You will get the slope uh, uh, incorrect. So in other words, what you have to do 
is you have to stay consistent. So um, you can start with either point. You can start with this. Let's start with this point because this is the way I did the prompt, okay? And the way I like to do the slope is just underline one point. It could be either point. doesn't make a difference. And, and this these um, coordinates have to be first in our, in our calculation. So let's subtract the y's. Uh, uh, then we'll subtract the x's. So this is going to be 6 minus a minus 2, okay? Then, because I did uh, 6 first, I have to use negative 5 first in my denominators, negative 5 minus 0. So this will give us, what, 6 minus minus 2, 8 over negative 5, which, of course, will be the correct answer. Now, you can do it the other way. Okay, let me go erase this. And I'm so happy you're watching this video because I'm telling you, so many people out there make this mistake. Okay, so let's go ahead and underline this uh, coordinate, right? So it's going to take the differences of the y's. So that'd be negative 2. That's our first y minus 6. And then we're going to take 0. Okay, we're going to start with 0 as our first x minus a negative 5. Okay, so we'll have to do it this way. This is the differences of the x's. So uh, negative 2 minus 6 will give us negative 8 over a negative of a negative is positive 5. We still have the same answer, negative 8 fifths. Okay, so if you got this wrong, okay, I'm um, actually glad that you did. All right, now you might find that strange, you know, having a math teacher saying, yay, I'm so happy you got this wrong because I know the next time you face, uh, <laughs> you know, slow prompts, you're going to be end up looking like this person right here. You know, you're going to be an expert at uh, slope. Just imagine all the money you can make uh, doing some math tutoring on the side, just teaching these students that are making these uh, errors. And I'll tell you something. Uh, calculating a slope is everywhere. Okay, you have to know how to graph lines, write the equations of lines. I mean, uh, I'm not exaggerating too much when I'm saying that you must know this in order to pass algebra. Okay, so if you need more help with the slope, and there is a lot of other uh, things that we need to discuss in a little bit more detail that's beyond this particular video. So check out like my uh, pre-algebra or algebra one uh, courses. You can uh, find the links to those in the description of this video. But if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.